Hey Geek Family, we are back and today we are going to check out a trailer featuring the always lovely Deepika. This one is Girayan. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Forgive me if I didn't. Ah, uh, but before we check this trailer out, I'm Nathan. I'm Rachel. Troy. And um, just forget about <laughs> the uh, rent-a-shredder over here. Uh, oh my god, you're hey, such a mean thank guy. you guys uh, for all your support in the channel. And uh, you know, if you haven't yet, can you guys hit that like? If you're new, hit that subscribe button, and everyone, every single one of you out there, hit that notification bell, BAM! No. So you know when our uh, videos are up. It's always a good thing to do. Uh, I, for one, personally forget to do it on the ones I subscribe to, but uh, don't let me deter you from, it, from hitting that uh, notification bell on this. Um, yeah, it's, uh, this is from four months ago, so I think the movie probably is already out. Uh, yeah, February 11th was when it came out on uh, Amazon Prime, and um, the quick synopsis is it says it takes you on a journey into the deep-rooted intricacies of modern human relationships. Not modern android relationships or animal, but human relationships. You had to put that in there, didn't you? You just had to say that, so, didn't you? Um, so, I don't know. If everyone is out there is ready, if each and every one of you are ready to check this trailer out, you guys ready? Yeah. Want to go and do this? All right. Let's check it out. I don't like being at home. I feel so stuck. <laughs> Oh, it's a cool yeah, shot. Yeah. Whoa, dang, look at that boat. Uh oh. No. Nope. Tell me you want this too. I don't want to get hurt again. Uh oh. No, not cool. on Prime Video. Hmm. Stop that. Wait, did I hit the right button? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I didn't think it. I thought, oh my god, I thought you hadn't even recorded it. I, I, uh, I just completely forgot. Um, ooh, wow, that looked like that's going to be a heavy, heavy, yeah. heavy film. Very um, heavy. Me no it like was a heavy trailer. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Me no like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, I probably won't watch it just because once again, it's not my alley. Yeah. I don't think anything's up your alley here um, lately. More. Okay. Yeah, that's one of those movies that's just like the uh, it's like the first movie I think I've seen with Deepika where I'm like, I don't I don't like her character. Like I don't like that's a horrible thing to do. That's and why that, I can't get in a relationship. And the same with the other guy. It's like why don't you talk to the other people first and then try to sit, get that situated and then um just um Break up with him first. Why is that so hard? Before Did he they... marry her, the cousin? Because well, I thought they were fiancés. Yeah, they were, but they said... were. 
break up with him. Why didn't he break up with her? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, I, I don't I don't know. Maybe it's just too many the, questions. The way the relationship is and how they were put together and all that stuff, it might not be that easy and everything, but way too many um, questions. In which case it's just oh well, don't start flirting and getting into situations that you know you can't uh, get out of Because them. I'll tell you another thing too, is is yeah, y'all are having fun right now and you're flirting and you're and you're having an affair and all that fun stuff. And what let's say the other relationships do end and you guys get together. And then a couple years down the road, you guys have an argument. And then all of a sudden in the back of your head, it's like, oh, well, they cheated on so-and-so to be with me. They're probably out cheating on me now. I don't see how that even goes well. So yeah. I don't uh, I don't think it's a good think... way to start a relationship, having an affair with that person. Because to me, that's always in the back of your head of like, well, they have proven that they're willing to do it once. So why wouldn't they do it again to me? Because now we're having some issues, which they were having issues with their significant others too, and then they started cheating with each other sort of thing. So, yeah, um, I don't think relationships like that ever last long. Yeah, that's not a movie I would check out strictly because I'm not a biggest fan of the subject. Uh, but as far as the film, it looked like it was very well shot. I did like <laughs> a lot of the uh, the scenery used in it, a lot of beach, beach uh, shots, which were gorgeous and absolutely uh, awesome. Just um, subject matter and everything, just too heavy for me, so. Uh, it didn't look bad. I'm not saying that, but uh, yeah, I would probably skip it. Just skip it. Yeah, that's me. That's me. That's a no. For Don't me. kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> Don't kill the message. Even mom's a no. Yeah, it's a no for me. Yeah. I mean, again, like I said, it's not that it looks bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not like the movie's gonna be bad. It's just, just uh, the subject. Yeah, it's not in the mood for a heavy. And it, and it could be for. Uh, there's other movies too, different subject matters that it's just like, ooh, that's too heavy. Like, ah, I'm not in the mood to really watch. Some some of the movies like this, you've really got to be in the right headspace and in the yeah. right mood to be able to watch and handle. Because uh, there's been some movies that I've watched that were big time downers. There's a Viggo Mortensen movie called The Road. It's a post-apocalyptic uh, movie, and it is a depressing bummer of a movie, and it's it's very good. Very well done. Shots are amazing. It's a really well done film, but by the time you're done watching it, you're just like emotionally drained, and you're just like, like I, I can never watch that movie again. I watched it once, and it was a great movie, but I'll never watch it. I'll never watch it again. Just... If you knew about what was the subject matter prior to the movie, watching that one, would you have watched it? The Road. Uh, no, I knew because I'd read the book. Oh, okay. I'd read the book, but. You know, a lot of times movies will take Sorry. liberties and all that, so you don't know how much they're going to stick to the book. And the trailer was really were very, very well done too. And like I said, it was a good movie. It was just such a downer and just a oh, like bummer of a movie. You're like, ah, I just really probably won't ever watch it again. I would suggest people to check it out. And that could go for this one too. Like if y'all haven't, have y'all have seen it and everything, you say it's a really good movie. Definitely worth checking out. You know, I, I understand that, and maybe at some point down the road, um, I will. But. Um, yeah, I think this might be the first time in a while that all three of us is just like, yeah, I probably yeah, won't no. see the movie right now. I think it's uh, a long, been a long time. It's been a little while, but yeah. uh, that can all change down the road. Um, you guys hit us up in the comment section. Uh, what you guys thought, if you've checked it out, um, is it is it heavy like that throughout the entire movie, just from start to finish, and maybe like a downer event? Like, you don't have to spoil anything, but um, let us know if it's like, yeah, hey, when, when you're up to it, check it out. It's definitely one to at least watch once, because like I said, it's what I would say for the road. Definitely watch it one time, but uh, yeah. But let us know in the comment section what you guys thought. If you've checked it out, let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for your love and support of the channel. You guys are awesome. Love y'all. Bye, guys.